Hi guys, it's Veronica. Long time no see, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time, a lot of time, putting out excuses and um, and making apologies and stuff. Um, but I am sorry that I've been gone for so incredibly long. It's just I have so much schoolwork. I'm up till at least midnight every night with schoolwork, and um, and then I have clubs after school and before school, and. I'm just busy all the time and so it's been so hard for me to find the time to make videos and so I just haven't because there's more to it than sitting down and filming it. I have to edit it and post it and all of that takes time, time that I currently don't have a lot of. Um, but I have some time right now, some of my first free time and um, so I'm going to film this video and it's not a, it's, it's a small kind of fun video. Um, but I just wanted to put something out there. And the next week is fall break, so I, so I should be able to film a lot of videos and then edit them in my spare time and put them up. So, without further ado, I will start today's video. Tests.com, and I'm taking the sorting hat quiz. My whole leg is asleep right now. Okay. You find a wallet on the ground with $40 in it, but there's no ID and no one saw you pick it up. What do you do? Notify the police immediately, walk around and ask if anyone's missing a wallet, pocket the money and leave the wallet there hoping someone would find it in search of money and get nothing. You decide to find the owner of the wallet with your intellect. Well, I wouldn't pocket the money and leave the wallet there, I would just take it all. Which color do you like best? Blue, green, red, or purple? Green, it's my favorite. Number three, which animal do you like best? A bird, a snake, a lion, a badger? Why would they ask you those? Because you're like, you're subconsciously biased to which house you think you should be in. So naturally you're going to pick the animal that's of that house. Except I don't like any of those. Because snakes freak me out. Lions are kind of scary. Badgers? Like what the heck is a badger even? And birds are... I don't really like birds either. I think lions because they're the prettiest to look at. I get Gryffindor just because I picked that. Which attribute best describes you? Kind, cunning, intelligent, or brave? What kind of a quiz is this? I'm none of the above. I'm not kind. I can be kind of cunning. I can be intelligent. Actually, I can be all of them, if need be. I guess I'll go. An old woman is outside the grocery store in front of you, and all of a sudden, and all, all of a sudden, she drops her bags. What do you do? You know you can help, so you do. You immediately offer help. It would be the right thing to do. You go over to her and help her. Pretend like you don't notice. Besides, it's not your fault she dropped the bags. Uh, probably go over and help her. Friend asks you to try jello they just made, but you're pretty sure it's a prank. What do you do? Take the dare willingly. Maybe it's not a prank. You yell at them that you're not stupid and never speak to them again. Tell them you hate jello so you don't hurt your friendship. You know better than to eat it. Kindly agree, even though you don't want to. A little prank is better than a hurt friendship. I'll tell them I hate Jello. I'm not taking my chances, man. Mm -mm. Which Harry Potter character is your favorite? I don't like anyone. Just kidding. Neville, he's so sweet. Harry, he's the main character, right? Hermione, she's so smart. Harry, because seriously, Harry, Despite being the main character, is the most underappreciated character in the whole series. And freaking Harry is hilarious. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, he's not my favorite character, but out of those, definitely Harry. Your neighbor asks you to water her flowers while she's on vacation. You agree but neglect doing it, and when your neighbor comes back, they're dead. She asks you if you know what happened. What do you say? You forgot, you forgot to water them, but give her tips on reviving them. Tell her you didn't water them and agree to give her money to buy new ones and offer to help replant them. Tell her you don't know what happened and take off the first chance you get. Tell her you didn't water them and say you'll buy her new ones. Tell her I don't know what happened and take off the first chance I get. Your teacher gives you your class a pop quiz on your worst subject right in the morning, but you're sitting next to the class genius who's always right. The thought comes to mind to take a little glance at their paper when the teacher isn't looking. What do you do? I'm good at all the subjects in school. Ask the teacher if you can move away from everyone to prevent cheating. Sneak a glance to be sure you get all the same answers. You don't look, you know it's wrong. Honestly, I would sneak a glance, whatever. Um, number 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, what did you think of this quiz? I give it a 1 to 4, because a lot of these, it was like 40%. For 40%, you are, you belong in Slytherin. 
you're cunning and know how to tell a lie. You're not always the nicest person to be around and can only be seen with people of high quality. Your mascot is the snake. I'm a sneaky, slithery snake. Um, yeah, I think I'm in Slytherin. I said there's a pre-bias, and I honestly think I'm pre-biased to believe that I'm in Slytherin, but that's because I believe myself to be a huge jerk, uh, solely based on my thoughts most of the time. So, I hope you enjoyed this quiz, and I hope that you're taking it with me, or uh, go, we'll go onto the website and take it also. I love to hear your results, and I can't wait to see you all soon.